up fellow collectors and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we are taking a look at Deluxe Class Prime Universe RC from the brand new Transformers Legacy line from Hasbro. I really like the design of this new packaging. I love the color scheme. I love all the artwork. I don't really love the open, you know, no window packaging, but I'll try not to harp on that in every video for Legacy. Uh, I really like the artwork here on this side. Over here we have that kind of typical Autobot mural that we've had on just about all of these so far. I don't know if the Decepticons are going to have their own. I'm hoping they will. I'm hoping once I can finally find a Decepticon, they'll have kind of some Decepticon characters here on the side. Got the Legacy logo on top. Not really much going on the bottom. And then spinning around to the back, we have product shots for the robot mode and the vehicle mode. And then we got a QR code down here for what looks to be tech specs or maybe a little bio about the character, which is kind of neat. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get her out of the box and we'll take a closer look. So here's RC out of the packaging and she's not too bad. I think unfortunately she's probably the weakest that we've seen so far, but we'll get there. Uh, overall, the robot mode, not too bad. A little bit of kibble here. We have these big wheel pieces hanging off the sides of the legs. And then you have a pretty decent sized backpack here. It's not too bad, honestly. It's pretty nicely located on the back. Doesn't really get in the way of too much. She does come with this extra wheel here. And you have a couple of options with this. You can kind of just peg it into the back here and let it hang there. You can turn it to the side if you like that better. Uh, you can have her use it as a weapon. It actually opens up. If you just split this apart. And it's actually kind of nicely painted inside. You have some nice metallic blue paint there. And then they can just have her hold it now. This, to me, is not a weapon. I don't really know what's going on with this. I kind of like the idea of maybe it being like a drone or something for surveillance. That it kind of transforms and then kind of clips onto her back. But it can kind of fly around like that. Another option you have is to kind of rotate this part down. And you see that there's a peg hole behind her head. And you can put this on like this. And then kind of tuck this back up. And then she just kind of has those wheels like that behind her head. I kind of like that look, honestly. That's not bad. It's not too much in the way. It's not really going to get in the way of arm articulation too much. So you have a few options. I kind of like that look. Or I kind of like the idea of having it, you know, be a drone or something that she deploys. But either way, we can put it off to the side for now. Now, as you may have seen as I've just been handling the figure, she has this ab uh, joint here for the transformation that unfortunately does not really lock into place. I feel like all they would have had to do is put like a little tab slot on this piece right here and just kind of have that tab in just so it'll be a little bit more solid in the robot mode. I mean, it's not going to like completely fall over, but it's kind of loose. I mean, looser than it should be. And I feel like the more you use it, the looser it gets. If you just pose her, she'll be fine. But if you move her at all, that ab crunch just really flies backwards. And it's really a shame because, like I said, there really would have been an easy way. There's a lot of plastic here to just put a little tab slot to just kind of have a tab underneath here, kind of peg in and snap in. I mean, it doesn't quite reach, but they could have made it long enough, I guess, or do something. Or maybe put a little tab on here that could clip into place and kind of keep that together. I guess they didn't want to lose the articulation because there is like a ball joint here that they're trying to get you to utilize, I guess, for articulation for the robot mode. But it really just makes it kind of loose, and that's really a shame. Robot head looks pretty good. I think they did a nice job with the sculpt work there. She actually has light piping, which is something that not all of the characters have, but she does have it. Nice silver paint there for the face. I really do like the kind of light purple color there around the head as well. I think that looks pretty good. Head can move side to side. You can look down a little bit. You can look up a pretty great deal, honestly. You can tilt that back pretty far. Uh, you have a little bit of side to side, but not really all that much. You have a hinge and a rotation here in the shoulder. You have a bicep swivel. You have 90 degrees in the elbow. Uh, you do have a wrist swivel, which is something I wasn't sure about at first, but you do have a wrist swivel there. Uh, like I said, the way this joint works is obviously you have this ab crunch, but then back here it's kind of a ball joint, so it's meant to spin. I don't know if it's... Can I move it? Maybe it's not a, a ball joint, it's just a swivel. But either way, you have a swivel there as well as the hinge. So I guess if they had it snap in, you would lose that, but I guess that's supposed to be the waist swivel. I would honestly rather sacrifice the waist swivel for that to snap in, but that's just me. You have a hip that can kick pretty far out to the side, kick forward, kick pretty far back. You have a thigh swivel there, as you can see. Uh, 
I would say 90 degrees there in the knee. You can kind of unhook this and get kind of like a second knee. It's it's meant to kind of clip into place there. It doesn't hold together super well, unfortunately. Um, but it holds well enough, I guess. But again, kind of like the hip. It, it'll stay in place for the, the hip, the waist, I mean. It'll stay in place for the most part. But it just doesn't really snap in the way you want it to. And then she's got an ankle tilt down here. You can move the feet a little bit up and down. Not really the back part, just kind of the front toes. That's really more for transformation than anything else. But if you need to utilize it for posing, you can. So she's not bad. She looks okay. She just really has a few fatal flaws that really just kind of hold her back from being wonderful. And really that that ab crunch there is the main culprit. Like I said, if you just kind of pose her on a shelf, she's not going to fall over. But as soon as you move her at all, it just completely, you know, pops off there, which is really a shame. Now, she does also come with one of these translucent uh, Energon weapons. It's just kind of this weird disc. So you have some options. You can kind of have her hold it if you want. You can split it in half. And if you want her to hold them like this, you can. Or if you want to kind of peg them in here to the forearm, so she kind of has like bladed forearms, you can do that. I don't know. I feel like I wish she would have just come with a normal gun, because honestly, I don't really care about these at all, and I don't really count this as a weapon either. So I don't know. It's <laughs> I wish she just kind of came with a regular gun. You can kind of move these pieces if you, for some reason, want to give her wings or something. You could kind of. Fold them out a little bit. I like them just kind of tucked straight back. And then you can just kind of situate that there. So, like I said, she's got a few problems that really just kind of hold the robot mode back, which is kind of a bummer. But for the most part, I think she looks good. All the paint applications are good. I like the little Autobot symbol there uh, on the chest. Otherwise, got a little bit of kind of light purple metallic paint there on the forearms and on the legs. Some nice silver paint. Yeah, just a couple things, really. The the knees and the waist not locking into place is really kind of a bummer. But I can't move on without bringing in her Prime Universe compatriot. There's Bulkhead. So I have to show the two together. And I don't know, Bulkhead I just feel like really worked. Maybe because he's just kind of big and imposing and fun. But he's solid. I mean, yes, he does have kind of a hollow chest. But it doesn't take away from the robot mode, whereas, you know, her waist and knees, you know, make her a little bit extra fiddly, which is kind of a problem. But I wanted to at least show them together because I do think they look really good together. All right, so transformation is a little weird, but it's serviceable. We're going to go ahead and start by taking these forearm pieces and just kind of extending them down over the wrists so that they cover up the fist a little bit. They don't really cover the entire fist, but good enough, I guess. Uh, we're going to continue by uh, kind of bringing this back and then spinning this around 180 degrees, like so. At this point, you're going to, you can see that there's kind of a joint in here and here, and you're going to rotate this down, and then this is going to collapse back. Actually, I have this backwards. You're going to rotate them this way, and they're going to collapse back and peg into each other, like so. You're going to take this section here, and this is going to kind of lift up and then rotate around 180 degrees. If you have the uh, wheel piece off to the side, you want to close that back up and make sure that it pegs in. It's kind of annoying because you have to line up. There's, there's pegs on one side and peg holes on the other, so you kind of have to line that up and make sure that that pegs together. And then go ahead and peg this in. And then you want to kind of drop this down over the robot head. There's kind of like a little recessed area. See if I can zoom in so you can see it kind of right there. And you can kind of drop the horn on her head into that recessed area. And it'll kind of line up pretty nice. So at this point, uh, I think I might have done this wrong. I think I have to unhook these so that I can bring this down. This section is going to kind of pop up. And the crotch plate is going to rotate around. You have to pop them at that extra knee that I was talking about earlier. Close up the toe. This will spin around. This will flip up. You can see here that there is a tab on the back of the heel. 
and that's actually going to tab into this tiny tab slot on the back of the leg. So that's going to pop in there like so. We're going to do the same thing over here. We're going to lift this up. We're going to fold up the foot, bring this around and tab that into that spot right there. Tab that in and then flip the wheel around. So now you kind of have these legs kind of floating out to the side here. Let me go ahead and put those arms back together now that everything else is out of the way. Come on, tab in. There we go. So you're going to bring this section up so that this kind of crotch plate uh, connects with this piece here. And then you want to bring this in. You have to make sure that you have these situated right. Bring this around. So you can see the hinge right there. You need to turn the leg, and it's a little easier said than done sometimes. If it's giving you too much trouble, you can kind of do it the other way because the hinges go both ways. So however you can get this to work, you can kind of bring that in and then spin the thigh around. But sometimes it really doesn't want to cooperate. So once you can get that to bend, then you're going to bring this, and let me zoom out a little bit so you can actually see what I'm doing. This is going to go like this, and so then the thigh will compress against this section here, and this will drop down here. Now, unfortunately, this whole section here does not really peg into anything underneath like you might expect it to, but this is going to swoop in in a second and peg everything together. So just to reiterate, this folds against the body. This comes in. Get that situated. And then you're going to peg the two wheel pieces together. And again, you have to kind of line up the peg holes in the pegs because it's annoying, but there we go. So now we kind of have the bike tape taking shape here. So there is a peg right here, kind of an L-shaped peg, that's going to peg in right there. And then there's a just normal tab, which is going to tab in there. So you want to bring this in and make sure you line it up so that you peg into both spots. It can be a little tricky, but it can be done. So peg both of those in, come around to this side, and do the same. Make sure that all snaps in. And there you go. There is your little motorcycle mode. It's not terrible, honestly. It's, it's more solid than I expected it to be. Rules pretty well. You have a little kickstand right here. So you can just kind of sit it there. It's got some nice detailing. I really like the headlights here. I think that looks pretty good. You have the tiniest little bit of orange here on the front. But yeah, for the most part, it, it holds together much better in motorcycle mode than I expected. Not a ton of robot kibble. Of course, you can still see the hands just hanging out the back here, but they cover them up a little bit. I feel like the legs integrate pretty well, and you have the two motorcycle wheels here, which work out pretty well. So you can take these pieces and put them a couple different places. If you want, you can peg them in to the side here, put one on each side, if you like the way that looks. Or you can kind of put them both on top here, which I think looks a little bit better, just to kind of give a little bit more definition to the back area there. Again, I don't really need them. They're fine, I guess, but I'd much rather she just had come with a normal gun. But it's a fairly decent little motorcycle mode. So unfortunately, RC is only okay. She has a few problems. The robot mode looks good, just kind of posing it on a shelf. I don't really have any problems with it. Uh, I don't really love all of the kibble. She does have a decent amount on the side of the legs and the backpacks. A little cumbersome. Nothing too bad. I think the head sculpt looks fantastic. Really nice paint applications throughout. Uh, the weapons are definitely a little lacking. The translucent wheel thing that kind of comes apart into two blades doesn't really impress me. Um, the extra front tire piece that can come off and kind of open up and they say that's a weapon, although I'm not really buying it. Like I said, I kind of like the idea of it maybe being a drone, but I do appreciate the fact that you can remove it if you want. That way it's not more kibble on the back. You can open it up and pop it right behind the head if you like the look of that as well. So I do appreciate that you have a few options for posability with that piece. 
Um, but really, it just comes down to that waist problem. I mean, it really just doesn't lock into place. And I'm assuming they didn't want to lock it into place because you would lose the waist swivel. But honestly, I think I would rather lose the waist swivel to have a nice solid core. Because really, when you move it around, she just really just completely falls backwards. And it's really a problem. And it's, it's annoying. I mean, again, just posing her on a shelf, not a big deal. But as soon as you try to handle her at all that's going to just completely fall back, and that's really a problem. Um, the the section down here with the knees, they don't really snap into place as much as I'd like either. I feel like that problem is a lot more manageable than the uh, ab crunch piece, but at the end of the day, there's still things that kind of take away from this being a really great figure, which is a shame, because I really do kind of like the look of her. I think they did a good job kind of bringing a Prime character kind of into the G1 universe, and aesthetically, I think she looks good. Just a few kind of technical problems with the articulation uh, and that abdomen, which I, I think because it needs it for the transformation, just really needs a way to snap into place for robot mode. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and as always, thanks so much for watching.